guys so I'm back and I'm here to talk to you all today about um, a new find that I made I was in Target the other day and imagine my surprise when I walked down the hair aisle and I saw they had a brand new product line by this company called Nubian Heritage which I was already familiar with because I use their soap I use their Indian hemp and Haitian the vetiver soap with neem oil so I was already familiar with the company and I know that you know they all of their soaps are made with like natural products and so I was super excited to see that they had um, three basically new product lines in Target and the first one that I saw was uh, they have this product line for people who straighten their hair it had like a whole line of shampoo and conditioner and leave-ins and spray and foam and all this stuff um, that was designed to protect the hair from heat, heat protectant line. I did not buy any of those products because it is my goal this summer to not really straighten my hair. If I decide to go back and do some straightening to it, then I may venture and do a review on that particular line. But for this haul, I want to talk about their two lines, the EVOO and Moringa Repair and Extend line and also their Indian Hemp and Tamanu grow and strengthening line. Those are the two main that I'm going to focus on. Um, as some of you may or may not know, I don't really use a lot of shampoo on my hair as most naturals um, kind of stay away from shampoo and regularly. Also, I utilize the co-washing method. And so the first product that I wanted to try was the EVOO and Moringa. I hope I'm saying that right. With quinoa, fennel, and henna repair and extend conditioner. It says it repairs damaged hair, extends the life of perm, and extends color. This is what it looks like. It smells really good and I did not have to use a lot of this product in order for it to be effective. It gave my hair a lot of slip. Um, I was very easily able to detangle my hair without, you know, oversaturating it with conditioner and it just smells really, really good. And I will uh, do a slide with all of the ingredients in it and um, basically, yeah, this was a good, good uh, conditioner for co-washing. I really enjoyed it. I followed that up with their Indian Hemp and Tamanu Grow and Strength and Treatment Mask. This is what that looks like. And this, it seems I would liken this to like a deep conditioner. It says, it smells really nice too. It says that it um, can be used as a mask on damp hair from root to ends, cover with a plastic cap and apply moderate heat for up to 45 minutes, then, thin, then rinse thoroughly. It may also be used as a leave-in conditioner, styling aid, or hair dressing. It's also effective as a pre-poo treatment where you wet the hair, put the product on, let it sit for like 15 minutes, rinse it out, um, wash and condition as regular. I didn't do all of that. I really just put this on my hair and put a baggie on it and like did some chores for about 30 minutes and went and got in the shower and rinsed it out. One thing I will say that I loved about this product, this entire line really, is that um, each of the tr products that I tried, I did not have to use a lot of it. Although this line is like a little bit more expensive than my regular Shea Moisture, um, each um, individual item I purchased was either $11.99 or $14.99 or something like that. And I really felt like I was getting a lot from my money because I barely dipped into this and it was able to coat my strands, this mask was. And um, it made my curls really, really pop, which I was super excited about because not all deep conditioners do that for my hair. So um, yeah, that's those two. So uh, basically, I really wanted to kind of see how each product interacted with my hair. So uh, the next step that I did was to apply their EVOO and Moringa with King Wafeno and Henna Repair and Extend Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. Now um, this stuff, I didn't have to use a lot of either. Um, it coated my hair really well and made it feel really moisturized and what I did was I allowed it to air dry. I banded my hair and I allowed it to air dry and it dried very light and my hair felt light and flowy. After the fact when I took my bands out and I had some curl definition and everything going on, it just was not very shiny. I mean, I didn't really apply much oil to it. I don't think I applied any oil to it at all, maybe just on the ends. But um, yeah, my hair was 
you know, it felt nice. It, it wasn't bad, it just wasn't super shiny. So that's the leave-in conditioner. After using that, taking the bands out, my hair was completely dry. I added to that their Indian Hemp and Tamanu with bamboo, manoi, and garlic extract. Grow and strengthen herbal custard. This says it's for breakage prevention and stronger hair. That's what that looks like. And um, basically it says that you can apply it into damp or dry hair and style as desired. It can be used as a leave-in conditioner, hair dressing, or a styling aid. And um, I just twisted my hair, dry twisted it with this. And on the ends, I applied their EVOO and Moringa Repair and Extend Hair Butter. That's what that looks like. And this is not really like any hair butter that I've ever used. It has more of like a, I want to say a uh, consistency of like a grease maybe, but it has like these little fine crystals in it. I'm not sure what that ingredient is, but you have to like get it in your hands and really rub it together to um, get it to melt all the little crystals. Otherwise you'll have like little white dots in your hair, which is not really cute. So you want to make sure that you uh, basically melt the product in your hands so for use on your hair. So um, I put that on my ends, a little twist I went to sleep. When I woke up, I kept my hair in twist and they felt moisturized when I woke up. I just like tied a little turban on and, and went about my day. Um, but by the end of the night, I felt like my hair was lacking, like it felt a little dry. So, I went to my standby Carol Zarder Tui Moisturizing Hair Sheen and I just gave my twist like a spray with this and went to bed. And when I woke up this morning, my hair felt fine, it felt great. So, I went ahead and took the twist down using the hair butter and um, after I got all my twists out, this is the twist out from you know the usage of this product but when I took off the twist I just gave it a little spray with a little more Carol's Daughter just you know to be safe because I like my hair to be you know a little shine to it or whatever um but overall my review of this product is I mean I received my hair received it really well I think that this is something that I would definitely buy again I look forward to trying some of their other products um I also did a quick search online and I found that other people were talking about that they had seen the line in Walgreens, Walmart, and Target. I found these products at Target and like I said, each one was between like $11.99, $14.99, right in that area range. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, all that I have for this particular haul. Um, I'm really excited to see how other people are going to receive this product, other naturals. Um, one thing I will say is that it seems to me that they are marketing this product not only to the natural hair community, but I think it will be ideal for transitioners and um, people with uh, relaxed hair as well and color treated hair, any kind of chemical treatment. It seems like, you know, they, that's their market. They want to sort of open it up because if you're doing chemical um, processes to your hair, it's important that your hair gets good quality nutrients and products as well. And so that's, what it, that's who it seems like this product is also marketed to. So I think that's great. Um, that's my review, my haul. Uh, I hope that when some of these products get into your stores that you'll go out and try it. I was pretty impressed, I must say. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanted to share with you all. I think I got it all. But I will be very interested to see how this product works um, with some of you all's hair and also just uh, especially the one for the heat treatment. If any of you are going to be pressing your hair soon, I would love to see those results. So it would be cool if you could do like a video response to this video. So that's it. That's all I have to report. Let me know if you try this product. Leave some comments, feedback questions. Um, I'm willing to answer any questions that you might have about my experience using this product that I didn't address in this video. And I hope to see you all soon.